Happy Monday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so I almost said Sunday. I hope by the time you watch this video, it has stopped raining. It has rained so much. It's crazy. Um, okay, I am actually doing today, we're doing writing, which I know I usually do a uh, social studies mini lesson on, on Mondays, but today I'm going to do um, a writing mini lesson. So just a sec. Hi, sorry. Um, our sidewalk is like actually flooded out front. Um, so anyway, I wanted to start with writing today because I wanted to give you the whole week to do what I'm um, assigning for right now. So you have the entire week to work on it and check in with me and use office hours to ask any questions or have me read any of your writing that you've done. So this would not be an assignment that I would procrastinate on. I would definitely get started with this. Um, so you're going to write. Okay. So here's where you're going to be like, Miss Ryan, what are you talking about? Um, you're going to write, uh, essentially, I want you to write like a web page. I don't want you to design a web page and I don't want you to actually like make a web page, but I want you to, to write what, what you would find on the web page about your topic. Um, and I know that sounds very, um, vague. So I'm going to give you a lot of examples. Um, and I think that, um, once you see what I'm talking about, you'll kind of get it a little bit more, I hope. So, um, okay, let me show you, um, let me show you a web page. You may be familiar with, with such things as websites. Um, okay, so this is actually a website you're going to use for Wednesday social studies lesson. So it's from battlefields.org. And it's, you know, to get here, you click around on all these different things. And it's called Who Fought? And it's about the Civil War, Who Fought? And it has this little introductory section. I'm not even going to call it a paragraph because it's two sentences. It's got a nice um, heading and then some information, a couple of paragraphs about Union soldiers, and then says Confederate soldier, a couple of paragraphs about Confederate soldiers and it's got two photos. It's a pretty standard um, website, right? Like that's what they look like when you click on them and it tells you information about them. You read through and we're used to seeing these subheadings and, and we see these little sort of intro thing that's not like an intro paragraph in a paper. It's, it's like an intro section, we'll call it, um, that has a very like a tone and a style that we're used to. Um, this is what I want you to do. I want you to try to do this. And I know that that is like way easier said than done because I did it. So I started to write what I would imagine would be on my website about female spies in the civil war. And I did that little intro thing, right? That's not, it's not like an intro, like an intro to the paper, but it's like a talking about kind of what's on my webpage. And then I came up with an interesting subheading for my section on what life was like for women during the Civil War. And then I'm moving on to my next section. I got these sections, I've already done this work, this isn't new work, from this organizer that you've all completed. And I have done, I'm taking my subtopics and I'm turning them into sections that would go on a, on a website. So this is what I want you to do. And um, I know that, um, well, I know that that's very vague and I acknowledge that, but I, I, can't, I can't teach you guys, you know, like the same lesson that you've learned from me specifically. And I'm sure from Mr. Hackman before me, right? Did you guys have Mr. Hackman? No, you didn't, right? You did, I can't remember. Um, and then um, whoever your fifth grade teacher was and, you know, on and on and on, you've learned these different, um, the, the thing about, you know, have a hook and then introduce your topic and have, tell what, it, your, you know, tell what your three body paragraphs are going to be about and a topic sentence to your first body paragraph with the information. That's, that's a very useful skill and you need to know how to do that. And that's how a research paper is formatted. But we've done it. And I want to try something new. So I want to give you this little bit of freedom to, to 
to try this different kind of writing that doesn't have as many rules, which can sound super fun, but actually can be really hard because I can't give you a form formulaic like do this, this, and this because all I really want you to do is make it sound like a web page. So um, that's what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you try that. I'm going to have you try to start it. I want you to write as much as I wrote for mine on your topic. So you get to pick what, whichever subtopic you want um, and think about how, if this was a web page that someone typed into Google, weapons of the Civil War, and they went to this, how would you have the writing presented? We're not talking about layout. We're not talking about format. We're not talking about pictures. We're not talking about color. We're just talking about the writing. Because on e almost every web page you go to, there is writing. And oftentimes there's a lot of it. And so that's really what we're going to focus on. So I'm going to link to you a bunch of web pages that are like the writing part of it is what I want you to focus on with my example and the example I just showed you. Um, for you to try to do this, to try to write like what's on a web page. Another way to think about this is writing like what's in a textbook, the way a textbook is, is lined up. But I think web pages tend to be a little bit more interesting than textbooks can be really, really dry. Um, and that's what I'm going to have you do. And I know that is going to make there be a ton of questions because I am being vague. But um, I also think it's fun. It's fun to push yourself and challenge yourself as a writer. So by Sunday, essentially, if you want like a guideline, basically what's due to me is three paragraphs, right? That's about what I gave you for my, for my example, a sort of intro-ish paragraph to your whole web page, and then your first subtopic covered. So that I did that in about three paragraphs, um, probably really less than three paragraphs because some of them are only a few sentences long. Um, I suspect you'll have questions. I want to answer them and I want to conference with you about this. As always, we can't talk until you've written something. So I need you to write something and then we can have a conversation about what you've written. So you've got to try. If all else fails and you're like, I can't do this. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know how to write this to sound like it would be on a web page. Use what you know, go back, Write an intro that is like an intro for um, a research paper. Write the first body paragraph for a research paper. You know how to do it? Do it. Get it all out there, and then we can change it. We can make it sound like more the tone and the, the style that we're going for with this project. That You know how to do that? Do that. That's fine. If you're totally stuck, do what you know, and then we can always go back and make it work like this. The worst thing to do is to not write anything because then we can't either revise it or edit it or give feedback because there's nothing written. So you gotta try and get something down. Um, and um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I, you know, I'm a little bit of a crazy person to throw this uh, totally new style of writing at you in the middle of the school closure, but I think you guys can do it. And I think once you get started, you'll have fun. I, I had fun writing mine. Certainly more fun than like, have you ever imagined what the weapons were like during the Civil War and then a and then a research paper on on the Civil War. I don't think any of us want to do that. So hopefully we can have a little bit more fun with this. Tomorrow you will get more details about the actual project itself um, and what the what you're going to be doing. But for the writing for this portion right now, do what I did on your topic. That's the assignment.